Thanks for tuning in to Suki Says. I took a bit of a mini vacation this past weekend so that I could enjoy the sights, sounds, and some of the smells at the 51st annual Philadelphia Folk Festival. And let me tell you, it was absolutely beautiful this past weekend. And you know what? I, I kind of think that we folkies deserved a weekend like the one that we had after the weather we've had for the last few fests. No one can forget the mud fest a couple years ago or the scary tornado weather of last year. But this year was just delightful. Now, some of my personal highlights would have to be the Thursday night concert where the entire camp stage area was filled. I mean, I have never seen so many people come down for the music on Fest Thursday, like ever. There were people from the front of the stage all the way up past the ballad gate and into Tent City. I was able to see a friend of mine play main stage this past weekend for the first time, which was amazing. I found the perfect hammocking spot where the trees were the exact distance from each other to allow me the most amazing afternoon nap. I had tater tots one morning, and I was fortunate enough to witness a folk fest wedding, complete with the couple's parents and a lovely white ball gown in the middle of the campgrounds. I mean, everyone around, all the people watching, all the campers were humming the bride's entrance music, and just everyone was filled with love. Now, I mentioned the Thursday evening concert, and another highlight was me being able to interview one of the bands that played, and I dare say this band pretty much made my night Thursday. They were energetic, fun, oh my gosh, and the washboard player lit her board on fire at one point during their set. I, I'm not even kidding. I mean, how much cooler can you get? Here's my interview with Reverend Peyton right before that concert. I'm Reverend Peyton from Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Band. And uh, we are a, it's basically, a, it's a rural blues band that uh, uh, comes from southern Indiana, in the, the hill country in southern Indiana, and we play all over the world, and uh, we are here today at the Philly Folk Fest. Now, do you play a lot of festivals? Yeah, yeah, we play tons of festivals, and all kinds, you know, from uh, folk fest to rock fest to, you know, biker fest like Sturgis, South Dakota, like, you know, the big bike rally in Sturgis, South Dakota, and to, uh, we've also uh, we've done uh, a year and a half on uh, the Vans Warp Tour, which is like a punk rock festival. It was kind of neat, you know. Now, between the different you know audiences and crowds that you get, do you like the massive big fests better, or do you like the smaller, more intimate groups? You know, it depends. It really depends on the crowd. You know, the, the sometimes the small ones can be awesome when the crowd's all in, and you know, it's just like the energy's coming off the walls back at you, but. It can be the same way at a big festival too, if the, if the crowd's giving that energy back. It really is just it's it's about the crowd more than it is about the even the setting or the venue or anything. You know, really like, you know, I, we've had some awesome shows like on the Warp Tour that were in parking lots. You know, where it just looked like nothing, but it was the people made it. And we've had some amazing shows in you know more beautiful settings. This one here is a pretty nice one. Yeah, this is a beautiful area. Yeah, it's really nice, really nice. So this is our first time here, so at this festival, so. It's uh, you know, we're pretty pretty excited to be here. Do you have a favorite big damn song? <laughs> you know, uh, I uh, I don't know. I I know that right now I'm loving playing the the songs off our new record. You know, and uh, we have a, had a new record that came out this last week, and uh, it's had a pretty good week. It it uh, debuted at number one on the the iTunes uh, blues album charts, and uh, it's uh, uh, on the the Billboard blues charts. It, it actually broke into the Billboard. Uh, uh, top 200 on the, the pop charts for albums. So it's unbelievable, you know, this little country blues record, for this little band from southern Indiana, you know, it's kind of neat. But, you know, I'm just really excited about this record. So if I had to pick a favorite one, it's probably right now it's going to be one off the new record just because they're so fresh and new. All right, and you're about to go hop on stage now, aren't you? Yep, here real soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm excited to see you. Welcome to the Folk Fest. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. That was my live interview with Reverend Payton of Reverend Payton's Big Damn Band. You can find them online at BigDamnBand.com. And now I have some audio from that Thursday evening concert so that you all can hear just how awesome they are live. Here we go.
I wanna thank you all for the move that you miss, but it comes over Kendall Mama's fried potatoes. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too shaky. I have to admit that I was dancing and jumping up and down like a crazy person with the mini recorder in my hand, so I was a little worried. I was a little worried about how it was going to turn out, but it wasn't so bad. It was not bad. Now, I have one more clip to share with you from that particular concert and it is Reverend Peyton playing the guitar and what you hear is all him it's all him he uh, as he was saying he wanted to show off to the audience I think he did a pretty good job let me show y'all how this works right just real real quick I ain't got much time so I gotta be quick here. simply very simply my thumb plays bass right something like this this one's kind of a simple one See, when my thumb's playing bass, my fingers, they play the lead uh, melody at the same time without the aid of loop pedals or iPods or anything like that. Right, let me show y'all how it's done, right? I absolutely loved that. It was such a treat. And you know what? There's just so much to love about Folkfest. Just so many things about Folkfest. So I decided to make my way with my mini recorder that I borrowed from the Dave. I decided to make my way through Fest and ask the folkies around me what they loved best about Folkfest. And I even I even got to talk to some Folkfest virgins. It was their first year. So here is a bit of a mashup, if you will, of those folkies. This is Suki of Suki Says, and I am in the grove, chilling in my hammock, getting passers by to tell me what they love the most about Fest. My name's Paul. My favorite thing about Folk Fest is the camaraderie. My name's Christina, and my favorite thing about Folk Fest, besides the fact that my friends are getting married later today, are my friends. My name is John DiGatano. This is my first Folk Fest. Uh, I've heard a lot about it in the past from my buddies here. Uh, told me how awesome it was, and it was probably more than they even described, which is pretty awesome. Um, been having a blast so far, even in the rain, we were able to have fun. Everything just seems exciting and new. I'm having a lot of fun just letting my guard down, I guess, and uh, exploring everything that's happening around me. What's your name? I'm Aubie. Albie, what's your favorite thing about Folk Fest? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Feeling like a kid again. What's your favorite thing about Folk Fest? Hi, my name's Lauren. This is my first Folk Fest. Ah. My favorite thing so far has been this Bloody Mary. <laughs> I feel very good about this. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's all great. My name is Maggie, and my favorite thing about Folk Fest is the hammock. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. uh, my name is Nick David, and uh, I can't even process all of the wonderful. Um, so I'll know what I think in like a few weeks. Um, <laughs> more specifically, except that it's good so far. Hey, my name is Trisha Delaridis. Uh I don't know what my favorite thing about Fest is, but I think that other guy was Dulcimer Grove is the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go hammocks. Like, Go hammocks. <laughs> My name is Kathy, and my favorite thing about Folk Fest is spending time with my grandchildren. Aww. What's your name? Donovan. What's your name? 
What's your favorite thing about Folk Fest? My favorite thing is about Folk Fest is working. Aww, what's your name? Dominic. My favorite thing about Folk Fest is um, that. What's that? The hammocks? Yeah. Oh, the jugglers? Yeah, the jugglers. Aww. My name is Rachel, and Fest is amazing, and I've never been here before, <laughs> even though my grandfather used to play Folk Fest when he was a folk singer. <laughs> and the people are awesome, and the music is awesome, and the whole thing is awesome. <laughs> my name is Marissa. This is my 22nd Fest. I'm a Fest baby. I grew up here. I absolutely love it, whether it's raining or sunny or snowing. I I don't know, it's just awesome, the people and the music and just the whole culture of the whole thing. My name is Matt, um, this is my third fest, love it, it's great, gets better and better every year, great people, great music, great atmosphere, lots of fun. Can I ask you what it's like getting married at Folk Fest? Getting married at Folk Fest is probably the best thing ever because all of your friends and family are around and you get to get a, a big hoot and holler, Woo! That last one was, of course, the lovely bride in her beautiful, beautiful wedding dress. It was amazing, guys. It really was. I mean, there was a whole crowd of people around. If you've ever been to Folk Fest, the main area next to, you know, Aurora Borealis, they had it in front of that campsite. And there were decorated umbrellas, and there were bridesmaids, and the parents of the bride were there, and they actually had someone to legally marry them there. And the I believe the groom was in a tuxedo shirt, but the bride was in a legit wedding dress, and it was, oh my gosh, it was so pretty. And they looked so happy, and I'm just really glad I got to witness that this year, you know? Up next, I have my interview with Mr. Dante Bucci. Uh, he stopped by my campsite after he was able to play main stage for the first time, and so I made him sit in the gigantic camp chair that about two or three butts can fit in and chat with me for a couple of minutes. But first, I'm going to play some audio from his live performance. Ladies and gentlemen, I have with me, we're sitting in a giant chair, my good buddy Dante, if you guys were lucky enough to catch his live performance months and months and months ago. When was that? I forget, uh, it, but it was a while ago. It was like almost a year ago. You have to come in again. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. You have a new uh, record coming out, don't you? I'm working on uh, some more material. I want to have, uh, I don't know, I'm probably going to do another five or six song EP, but I'm still deciding how I want the arrangements to be. Perfectionist. Sure. <laughs> I'm trying to please everybody. That's Some people like it solo, other people like it with instruments, other says, uh, you play so many instruments, why don't you play on the uh, record, like drums and stuff like that. So I'm still deciding what to do. Maybe I'll do a mix of everything. Tell them there's only one of you. <laughs> there's only one of me. <laughs> now, you played on main stage. That was your first main stage show at Folk Fest. Yes, it was. It was an amazing time. How was it, like... Go walking up there and doing the sound check and everything. How, how was that? Um, you know, it was. 
it went by so quick I didn't have time to savor it while I was in the moment I was just all business up on stage doing the sound check making sure everything was ready to go and I played and, and then when it was all done I was like wow <laughs> it's like went over in five seconds it felt like yeah that was short and I was very sad it was only about I think 15 minutes 20 minutes yeah it was about 20 minutes but you know it was any any amount of time is great I just it's a great opportunity and everybody loved me I think I got a lot of great feedback and it's a good time Heard a lot of people yelling out your name. Yeah, uh, well, you know, I camp here every year. I'm a volunteer, and uh, so I have a, a lot of support in the campgrounds, and so my whole campsite came out and cheered me on. A bunch of them work up in the yards tent, so they were uh, selling beers and yelling my name. <laughs> you have shows coming up? Um, actually, I'm um, not terribly booked at the moment, but um, I think I might be doing a Grape Room gig soon in September and possibly the Philly Song Shuffle for the Fringe event at the World Cafe. So if people want you, you are uh, up for booking. Yeah, if you want to book me for a show, let me know. The fall is a great time to book shows. I kind of lay low in the summer, and so I'm ready to, to book some shows now. Cool. Well, thank you for hanging out in my gigantic camp chair and talking to me. My pleasure. All right, I hope you all have enjoyed this special Folk Fest edition of Suki Says.